stop racking until you do this. I'm talking about gravity readings. We are seeing a lot of questions and comments about gravity readings or questions and comments where the answer is, did you take a gravity reading? When you assemble your brew, please don't forget to take a reading. We hear it all the time. I forgot to take a reading. What can I do? Okay. Before you get upset with me and say, I don't care about the ABV of my brew, or I've made this recipe so many times, I just know it's readings. Let me remind you that yeast are living things, have no method of communication with other yeast colonies, and cannot read. So what you expect them to do and what they actually do are often very different things. What I mean is, just because you made a brew before doesn't mean it couldn't have unforeseen issues like a stall, for example. So take that original gravity reading so you have the information available should you need it later on. The gravity reading will also tell you if you have too much sugar, not enough, etc. So it's pretty important all around. Next is the big one, the main reason I am making this video. I know a lot of recipes out there say rack off the lease after two weeks or three or whatever. Point being, they're making a constant from a variable. Yeast don't know these recipes, so they don't always cooperate with the timetable. Instead, when you see the airlock activity dwindle to nothing, take a reading. Based on that reading and your original gravity reading, you can determine if it's done, nearly done, stalled, etc. But you're not done yet. After taking that reading, wait a week, then take another reading. Your patience will be rewarded. If they are the same and you've determined that it's the appropriate time for your particular brew to stop, then you can rack. Why not rack before then? Glad you asked. Number one, there is no reason to rack early. Lees are a normal part of brewing and sitting on them for a week or two is not going to affect your wine or mead. Number two, lees are made up of dead yeast, random biological dropout from fermentation, and dormant and live yeast. So when you rack, you are removing some of the live yeast from your fermentation, as well as the nutrients the colony would have gotten from the dead yeast and other things in the lees. This can stress the remaining yeast since they may feel the need to rebuild the colony and that could cause off flavors or a stall. Number three, there's just no reason to rack early. I know, I said that twice, but it's that important. There's more, but I'm trying not to make this video too long. So what can you do to prevent this problem? Take original gravity readings. Take a final gravity reading. Take another final gravity reading in a week. Then rack. That's it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.